Information systems require a constant cycle. We'll get to the specifics of what equipment they need later, but the functionality requires four basic steps. Input, process, output, and storage. It also requires significant feedback during and after use of the system. These steps, if remembered, will help you understand what should be taken out of an information system. IPOS is a simple acronym to learn and is the groundwork of all the components, internal and external, tangible and intangible, of the information system. Input is anything we wish to embed in a system for some type of use. A variety of sources are used to input keyboard, scanner, microphone, mouse, or even another computer. What we input has a purpose, but until it is processed and generated in some form of output, it doesn't do us much good. Processing takes place in the internal parts of the computer. It is the act of taking inputted data and converting it to something usable. What we typically see on the screen in today's computer world, known as what you see is what you get, or WYSIWYG, is the result of our input being processed by some program so we can have usable output, an English paper, an edited photograph, this video you're watching. Output, or processed information in a usable format, comes in many different forms. Monitor or printer for visual work, a speaker for audio. Sometimes our output is short term, such as printing a photo, and sometimes what we work on needs to be kept around for a while. That's where storage comes in. Storage is the term used to indicate we will be saving data for a period of time. We store for many reasons, for future reference, to prevent full loss of data, because we forget to purge. But storage is vital. There are several mediums on which we can keep output and process data. A hard disk, a USB drive, a CD. Two anecdotes to drive that point home. Someone lost an entire season of her son playing hockey because she didn't back up the video and photo files and a fellow student was working on a year-long bachelor's thesis and did not back it up the first, or the second, or the third time she lost it. All were at different stages of completion, with a thesis over 60 pages long when she was done. Besides the four functions of IPOS, quick, what does IPOS stand for? That's right, input, process, output, and store. An information system also requires feedback. This is how future systems are